Okay, today we are going to talk about how to use the geometry panels. I've got a packet here. Inside we've got our instruction manual and we've got four different shapes as well as rubber bands. I'm going to work with just the triangles here today just so we can see how that works. I'm going to take these off because these hold them together. And when we start with these, I want to take one. This is how they come as flat. I want to take it, I'm going to give it just a little bend up. See how I've got just a little bend I'm folding it towards the color. See how I've got a little bit of a shape with that now. Okay, I'm going to do that to the other ones. I personally have found I can do two or three at a time and it doesn't affect it. If you try to do more than that, it ends up not working. And if you notice, again, I'm just pressing it just partial. I'm not going all the way. I'm just going just a little bit. So I've got four of them here. I'm going to actually make a tetrahedron. Get my rubber bands out. Now when I put these together, let me move this back here for a minute. When I put these together, I'm going to put the white sides together and I find it best for me if I hold it with these two fingers here I'm going to grab my rubber band and I hook it through on the edge here. I'm going to hook it on the edge and then I actually transfer hands and so I'm still holding them together. Then take our rubber band and go to the edge. Let me do another one. Again, I start out by holding it where I want it. Take my rubber band, hook it on the edge and pull it. That's my third one. Hook it and pull it. I'm going to put a base on this. And the nice thing about these is you can use them and when I'm done with this shape I can take them apart and make myself another shape. So I've got three, whoops, let me get my last one here. And there I have a tetrahedron. And when again, when I'm done with it, I can just take them apart I can see inside it or I can take it all the way apart and make different shapes with it. I can actually put it together like this. Oops, let me get my rubber bands off here. Put it together like this and we will make a pyramid. So now I've got four on here. I've got four. To make the base, I need my square. Oops. Again, I need to get this one ready because I haven't used it yet, so I'm just going to gently fold them up, put it on the bottom, and I can make myself a square pyramid. And the fourth one. My rubber bands are having a moment. And now, I have a square pyramid and that's how we do the geometry panels. 